Right, I'm gonna push tunnel now. Need assistance. Here we go. I'm with it. Tunnel clear, turn around. Almost 40 damage per second facing this mech. It is like a visit to the dentist when you hear that high-pitched noise of the drill going on. You know, it's gonna hurt. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering today with the Stone Crusher Annihilator Legendary Hero mech. And we're going to be running it in a longer range and extreme close range configuration with large X pulse lasers and small X pulse lasers. How many? All of them. Let's go. Please don't get a seizure. Ha. Huh. Now where do we go? And one potential spot for me is here. Oh, hello. Maybe I go tunnel. Oh, somebody in there as well. We really want, you really want to look at that, my friend? I don't think you want to. Oh, hello. Sorry. That storm could just felt it. Well, there's enemies all around us right now. This gonna be tough. New target acquired. Base is being captured. Wish I could put my UV. There we go. That was important. Now I just know what's going on a little bit. Target spotted. Base is being captured. Three guys in the tunnel. Can't really push this. These guys are shooting a lot, though. Guys, what the fuck? Yeah, he's not feeling so good. Alright, I'm gonna push tunnel now. Here we go. I'm with it. Target acquired. One target acquired. Eight left. Overall, shut down. Time clear, turn around. Box to five. Target spotted. <laughs> you poor fools. The power of the pulse is at my command. Yes. Need assistance. What? Sir? Uh, I wish I could talk is this a dude right here who just shot me? What the hell was that? That was weird. Is he above me or something? Somebody's shooting. Ha no, there's a guy down here having heavy gaussing. Like, what the hell just shot me? There we go. You don't need that side torso, do you? Oh, those legs. <laughs> oh. Little signal. Three targets here, Fox 5. Above. Target right torso critical damage. Oh, that's a Fafni that I was looking for. Heat 
I am hot. Oh, he dropped. Seid doch so eine Waffen, die One-Touch. Where is the Fafnir? Have you seen the Fafnir? I mean, there's a target over there. Maybe that's the Fafnir. Yep. How do I have six skills? <laughs> six killing blows, one solo kill, two KDDs. 1200 for the free done, four or six taken. 22 components destroyed. And a UV kill. And you might think, oh, it's because the weapon systems are OP. No. It's because I had extremely good positioning and I got a little bit lucky. Would have done the same with medium pulse lasers or with just normal pulse lasers. GG. 767 match score. He's still up. He's not even side torso broken yet. It's it's insane to me how people can do no damage like this. Target destroyed. Completely insane. That was a 4v1 for over 30 seconds. No damage done. This one's over big time. Target acquired. Target spotted. Target spotted. UAV active. New target acquired. Target spotted. Didn't get a single leg so far. a lot of them all around us. We got four kills, two solo kills, two KMD, 700 done, 760 taken, and the Yubiko. Well, 
that certainly was a lot of fun guys let's talk about the build it is on screen right now light engine 300 we're using standard heat sinks of course to be able to cool this mac as much as possible and more importantly to have the highest heat reservoir possible we've got triple large x pulses in the side torsos two in the right one one in the left torso and then we just populate every single other energy hard point and there are 10 of them with small x pulse lasers plus a tc mark one to get a little bit extra range out of our small x pulses we lower the arms a little bit, we lower the cockpit a little bit, lower the arms a little bit, just so we can fit more standard heat sinks. And of course, we're using light ferrofibers right here to get a little bit of extra tonnage for ourselves. If you want to, you could forgo one more heat sink and armor up the legs and arms a little bit more. I will leave it up to you. Speed, standard idle speeds, 48.6 kph. As far as the cursor concerned, we're not really getting anything except the 30% C-Bill bonus and some extra armor. Uh, we would have medium laser heat scale limit family uh, plus three, but that doesn't apply to us, unfortunately. At long range, you have the firepower of, let's say, a uh, Charger 1A1 with the triple large x pulse lasers. And as soon as people get closer to you, that's when your DPS really skyrockets. So you've got like a long range DPS of, I would say, about nine or 10. But once targets come close to you, that is when the small X pulses come into play. Now, this mech has 34 DPS, but that is before skill tree. And on the skill tree, we can get cooldown and we can get laser duration. And both together can amp up our DPS quite a bit. So this is around 40 DPS, guys, if you are within the optimal range of the small X pulses, which is going to be 184 meters. So what does it tell us? It tells us one thing. Positioning is key absolute key because you have to get fairly close to your targets in order to get your full dps out but even if you don't get your full dps out if let's, let's say you're at 260 meters or so it's still valuable to just shoot all your weapons and keep in mind of course that the uh, small x pulses if you are in let's let's say 280 260 meters and below range if you are running hot it's actually better to just keep the small x pulses going because they will be doing more dps than your large x pulses Light mechs that come close to you, their legs will evaporate within seconds. Like, you wouldn't believe how easy it is to, le to leg a light mech with this. It is, uh, yeah, they don't like this build. Trust me, they just don't like it. Um, you, can, you can use your large x pulses, of course, um, at long range to be able to shoot down UVs. You've got those fairly high mounted, so you can actually shoot over obstacles, which is really nice. And like I said, once stuff gets closer to you, then you start unloading with the extra small x pulses and really melt down mechs there are few mechs that come close to the dps that this thing can shell out it is kind of insane and it's actually a viable tactic to just go straight up ct if somebody face tanks you let's say maybe i don't know some dude with racks just go straight up ct and just don't stop shooting until he's dead so make sure you're on override always override on any single mech but this one in particular you don't want to be caught with your pants down as you're overheating Try this build, guys. It is not for the faint of heart, but as you can see, it can drill, son. I'm just happy every single time I get to play on Annihilator. There's something about the mech that makes it one of my favorites. There's only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, to say thank you so much to all my amazing supporters right here. I literally couldn't do this without them, and if you right there would like to help out as well, please check out the video description for a link to my Patreon, as well as my merch store, maybe pick up something nice, or, of course, you can go ahead and send the super thanks or become a channel member right here on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support.